Hey up everybody, just a quick in this really, um, a while back I've borrowed, well, I've borrowed an idea off a fellow YouTube creator, his name's Peter over at PGS, take a look at him, I'll put a link up somewhere up here to him, uh, and in one of his past videos he put a light on his um, drill, on his drill press, well I'm going to use his, his same idea and put it on my mill. I've got to, I've got the said light. I've had it quite a while now. I've just not had time to fit it. And it's a, it's a ring light. I'll get my tape measure and tell you the dimensions. It's 160 millimeter OD. 100 millimeter on the inside ring. Then there's a recess where the light is. 110 millimeter and it's 16 millimeter thick so what I've had to do then and I think Peter had to do the same way is I've just had to make an adapter to fit my uh, my, he my head on my milling spindle now in a few a few videos back I made an adapter to fit my grind my grinder onto my mill to do a specific job that's for a later date that and while I was making the adapter I've made a insert to go on the adapter to fit the light made it fit the light made it fit my adapter and I'm just about to fit it on the only thing that the light doesn't come with and that's a, a USB plug to plug into the mains that was extra it was only a few pound light Right, so all that's going to happen then, I've, this adapt, this intermediate adapter fits into the light then that's going to fit onto this milling uh, head of me milling spindle I'll, I'll bring the wire up the back and come through the body of the miller eventually uh, then this grinding attachment that I've made fits onto this it just, it's just a push fit a tight push fit and then this is going to fit onto my milling head like so uh, and what holds this on here I've just put four grub screws in here so I can loosen the grub screws and turn my grinding attachment to different positions so this stays on the miller permanently then my grinding attachment just bolts under here with two bolts with my grinder in here but that's that's done in another video that if you want to take a look at that and that, that's all it does it fits over this adapter plate and it's secure now then you have to buy this plug extra it's just a USB plug and then you've got a control button here now when I've off camera I'm going to thread all this wire through neatly I'm just doing this to show you it's got an on off button you can have different types of light there's three settings for different types of light and then you've got a plus and minus to dim or increase the the light I'll just turn I'll just turn my lights off and show you. So it, it gives you a really good 360 degree, 60 degree light around your working area and then that moves up and down with my milling head or my spindle should I say. And that's it really. A quick video there to show you how that idea of Peter's has played out on my milling machine so thanks for that Peter I'll put a link up somewhere up here take a look at him 
Um, it's PGS, I think his channel name. So, if you've uh, found that interesting and useful, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you on my next video. Maybe when I'm using this grinding attachment. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.